Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Twitch is in the house. Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Twitch is in the house. As I told you earlier that he was going to be in the house. Welcome to Urban Mix. It's been a while. I mean, last week we were out there. We were not in the studio in the pool party. I mean, how did you see the pool party that went on when we were out there? Oh, it was great. It was it was so fun. Like I remember, especially when people were interacting with each other. No, like even though we were social distancing, but it was fun. Like I love it. All right. So then we were out there. We're just going to be having a good vibe. And this weekend, it's a whole massive vibe going on. Last week here in the United States, Chewa of Kumawood movie got married. And a lot of people were like, ah, I think this is like a movie. I think this is one of the things to push artists. Why is it that anytime any artist or any celebrity get married, people are not really, really serious about it. They kind of thinking that it might be fake. Why do you think that perception is always there? But the question is, does it matter? Does it, if it is movie or real, it's not your problem. It's Chewa's problem. If she is faking us, it's her problem. We just need to witness how everything is going. We don't need to criticize anybody about, oh, it's fake, it's a movie, it's what. It's not our problem. I think those, like, the idea that we keep on bringing up anytime about uh, artists and movies that are getting married is, like, is so, we are done. We should stop doing that. I like it. If she is married, congratulations. If she is not, but I mean, on Urban Mix, we can say for a fact that, you know, on Urban Mix, we make sure everything that is happening, we go around, make yeah. sure we get a connection. We realized that it was true because they have to first go to the court. After the court signing, they came to do the traditional marriage. And after that, they did a white wedding. So, I mean, on Urban Mix, we can say for a fact that this is a real wedding. Let's come back. One of the biggest stories that is making waves that we were having a discussion before we even came on the scene and was like, why is everybody not congratulation? I mean, a lot of people sending congratulation messages to Shatawale, but people are also now trying to be an editor, being an, like a Photoshop expert and now scrutinizing everything that has been putting out there. I'm talking about the new King, the Black is King. That is being released by Beyonce featuring Shatawale and most of the African artists. But it's like mostly the one that is coming from Shatawale is getting so much hate, so much hate. First of all, let's talk about Black Skin. How do you see this whole compilation music and video and everything? In one word, I mean, I'm, su I'm I mean, summarizing everything in one word. Okay. I love it. Like, it's, it's amazing. There is no doubt about it. Like, it's amazing. That's it. Because, just look at it. One is Beyonce. Everybody loves Beyonce. If you don't love it, it's your problem. I like Beyonce. I love her. She's fine. Every music from her is very cool. And Shatawale. Damn, bro. I, I... The fans of Shatawale are watching you right now. And just let them know that what is the vibe? We are here in the United States. We know the vibe that is going on with Beyonce and everything. But let them know what is happening here in the United States. If they don't know, they are watching you right now. We are happy. Like, we are super happy that this collaboration came on. Like, we are super happy. And we wish that it will keep on going for the Ghana Ghanaian music and Ghanaian artists to be on the world stage. Like, it's, it's so amazing. Having a song with Beyonce, bruh, it's not easy, but if you have it, yo, it's a blessing. That's it. It's a blessing. That's what, I mean, Twitch is talking about. But in the first place, it's a blessing for Ghana music. It's a blessing. You are in the music industry. You're part of Ghana Music USA, putting all these awards together. You see this to be a bigger platform that will help other Ghanaian artists. But back in Ghana, we've seen a lot of people criticizing it to be like, oh, this is not real. We've not seen Beyonce in Ghana. But are they thinking that Beyonce will come to Ghana and be announcing herself that I'm shooting a music video, everybody should come around? Maybe they think Beyonce is going to come out from the clouds like how Jesus would descend on earth like, hey, here I am, Ghana, I'm coming to do music video. No, it's not like that. No, she don't play like that. 
she came she did the music video either she did not or she did it's none of our business the only thing that we should cherish what has happened this glorious day we should cherish the video we should like it watch it enjoy it that's the amazing thing you just need to enjoy it you don't need to talk about it like oh beyonce didn't come uh shatawale was like uh, animated into the video who cares who cares beyonce don't care shatter don't care why would you care Shata is getting his fame. Beyonce has her fame already. We watching the video should enjoy it. We shouldn't care about if Beyonce came or not. Look, we are in Corona. Nobody needs to come. A big artist don't need to collaborate with anybody and maybe there will be an incident and something is going to happen which you don't like. So I like the video. I don't see anything bad about it unless someone can pinpoint something that this 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 this. If you don't have any fact then then forget about it if you don't have any yeah, fact yeah. just forget about it because at the end of the day the video is already out it's getting million views already this video was released just last week and everything is being massive on social media on everywhere airplay is massive right now is it a big win for shatawale and african music or is just something that um, people are saying i mean I mean, Beyonce is just using that to gain something out of Africa, not helping African artists. No. Beyonce, at the state that Beyonce is, Beyonce don't need to use anybody to gain recognition. Beyonce can just sing about Africa and boom, it's going to hit. Beyonce did, doesn't need Africa to raise her standard. Beyonce raised her standard just in the United States. That is the thing. Most we African think, oh, she's exploiting. She's an African. No, it's, it's her birthright. Like, nobody can take that. She's an American. But if you go deep, deep into it, she's an African. In America, they classify them as what? African-American. Because America is even trying to tell them that you guys are from Africa, no matter what it is. If you let her do a DNA test or whatever you get to find out that the percentage of she being from africa is higher than any other ethnic group or any other place so she can use africa you don't need to stay in africa to be an african as far as it's in your dna your bones and everything you are an african my niece and nephew are born here they are american because they are born here but no matter what my sister is Ghanaian. my sister's husband is Ghanaian. they are purely Ghanaian. just that they were born here so i don't care like whatever she don't care she don't care she brought the video out but the thing is what people need to realize is the black skin is from lion king and lion king is a disney production so if it is a disney production it cannot be on any other platform for people to watch it it's solely disney just like let's say netflix anything on netflix that was produced by netflix is for netflix it cannot be shown on amazon no it cannot be shown on amazon prime anything from amazon prime like let's say amazon prime has jack ryan jack ryan is a production of amazon prime it will never be on netflix anything from apple tv like c will never be on netflix unless netflix buy it that is how it works so if africans can see the blackest skin it's not beyonce's fault Shatawale is now saying that he has the biggest collaboration internationally. Do you agree to that fact? Oh yeah, I will agree to that. 100%. Because we are talking about Beyonce. I think she has... I don't want to make a mistake, but I think she has 20-something, I think 23 or 24 nomination in the Grammys or so. So yeah, even American artists, big, big artists pay respect to it. Hey, so what's up? What's up with that? He has it and he can brag about it. But I think I understand where Shatawale came from when he started bragging and started talking to the other artists like Sakwa, the Stoneboy and all that. I, I understand him now because now I understand him that his feet was on something. He had something hidden. He just didn't want to tell anybody till it comes out for us to see that. So this is the reason why I was talking or I was doing all this crazy action that I was doing. Why are all the Ghanaian artists hitting on Shatawale? Let's watch this video. It never happened. 
I see say Beyonce do video where you do SM for life. This be what he do. SM for life be like this. Beyonce do this. Where you put in. Hey. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oskenia. Or your Photoshop. Just like the way they do Wakanda. Where they portray Africa. Where they never come Africa. Hey. Oskenia know your new video. You see Wale. You see this thing where you do? You yawa yourself. You see this video? It's fake. Even when one they come to her, and you fake. One gringo. Yeah, you two coin. And you have a flight. And you coin, you coin, yeah. Gringo was real. Beyonce never meet Shatawale. Wale, don't, don't fake yourself to everybody. All right, Twitch, we're coming back from this video you just watched. This is about Pope Skinny, who was one time the Ochiami of Chatawale, coming out to say, oh, I mean, I know the vibe. I know this is fake. We, we did it before whilst I was in the camp of SM. Now I know all the vibe. Why is it because that Pope Skinny is no more with Chatawale, so he's trying to discredit anything any achievement even though a lot of people are now congratulating Shatawale and all that what do you what do you think Pope Skinny is trying to do out here with this video you just watched jealousy jealous if you weren't jealous you wouldn't talk about someone's video that he made you were Ghanaian you support it even though you guys are not like cool anymore you still support it i saw sakodia supporting his stone boy a lot of artists supported it because it's a big deal for ghana it has opened so it will open so many stuff and so many like collaboration for ghana you support it you don't discredit it even if the video was fixed or shatawale did the video in ghana and beyonce did the rest in united states and it was just fixed to it it was perfect just think about yourself who who is that uh Popskini. Do your own stuff. Try and get your people to work and get you something better to do or get your people to uh, collaborate with a big artist. If not, enjoy it and live your life. I know you are in the US here having fun and all that. Bring up something cool. Make big music with a lot of big artists in Africa or even Ghanaian artists and move on. Stop discrediting something that it is big and we all need to embrace it and push it forward stop that it's not gonna help that's it there's a big picture for african music and we all have to push it that's what we're pushing right here that is on urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the best thank you for being with us today it has been a great conversation i know we are not judging anybody everybody commenting showing their videos and everything on social media including pop skinny everybody have their own right as to what they want to say about anything we are not judging everyone what we are saying is let's support african music as we do on urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the best it has been me your boy prince right here always looking fresh looking clean with your man twitch today is all about nike nike see you next week and always is going to be an urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the right best. now you're into urban mix Make sure you stay in tune with the best.